tie up all the hair to my left so it looks like I have an undercut or just no hair. I'm going to prep my face with the Stila One Step Correct. Um, I love using this because firstly it feels really weightless and it's also really good in terms of evening out my skin tone and getting my face to match my neck. I only apply this on the right side of my face, which is where I'm going to be doing the makeup. I start buffing that in with an M439 brush from Morphe. As you can see the difference, where I have applied and where I haven't applied it, it just really evens out my skin tone and preps my skin for a foundation. Then for foundation, I'm going to be using the Born This Way foundation by Too Faced. I am in the shade Honey. This is my first time using this foundation on camera. and. I'm actually really pleased with the foundation. It's the perfect match for my skin tone. I love the coverage. Um, it's medium to full coverage, so you can add a little bit more if you want to. And it feels really, really good on the skin. I'm going to have a review of this up soon. And then I'm just gonna use a beauty blender and put on some more foundation at where I need it. Again, um, this is Buildable Coverage Foundation, which is pretty great. Then I start working on my eyebrows. Um, I have an eyebrow tutorial up and I'll link it here. Then I just clean up my eyebrows and prep my lid using some concealer. Now for the fun stuff. Using some Vaseline or just any petroleum jelly I presume, I'm going to cover up the hair on my face. Because we're going to be using liquid latex, latex will stick to the hair. And then when you try to peel it off, it will pull out the hair. So cover up all your baby hairs and I just use a sponge to apply the liquid latex on the left side of my face. I really wanted to make the burns really apparent so I covered everything with a good four to six layers of liquid latex. Now the latex dries clear so as soon as it starts to go clear I just pack on more. I ripped some facial tissue from 2-ply to 1-ply and cut it up into chunks and start putting it on the almost dried latex and after that I'm going to put some more liquid latex on it. So what you want to do is you want to sandwich the tissue paper between the liquid latex and this is going to create a really good layer. Then I just start making some holes into it once it's completely dried. The reason it's not drying clear anymore is because of the tissue paper that I added. Now this is going to help make a really nice texture for the burns that I'm going to be doing. And I just take that all the way down my neck. The holes can be of varying size. There's no way, right way to do this um, because it's really, really random. Some will be bigger, some will be smaller. Now to mattify the whole thing, I'm going to be setting it with some translucent powder. This is just some powder that I have from LA Girl. Then using this lipstick by Maybelline Red Revival, I'm just going to put some inside the holes that we just made and just connect it to my hairline and half my face. This is going to be a really good template for where the burns are going to be. This is going to be the base of our burns. Then using this eyeshadow from Inglot in 329, which is like a dark cool tone brown. I'm just going to start putting that on the red. And then I'm going to take busted and blackout eyeshadows from my Naked 2 palette and start putting them on. I'm gonna be very messy. I don't really care if it's neat or not because, because the burns look so random, there's no organized manner to do this. Then I'm gonna take some black cream paint, face paint. I'm just gonna put it on my hand and I'm gonna pack it on. This is going to take a lot of layers and you want to let the black dry in between. But because the burnt face is not white, it's black. That's why you want to do this. Then using liquid lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills in Seraphine, I'm just going to start putting the red lipstick again in the same holes that we put the Maybelline lipstick in before.
and then I start this part is optional I guess but I really feel like it pulled the look together Be I put on some fake blood and just started blending that in because it really brought the black and the red together and it stopped the um, overall burns from looking so matte and it made it look a lot more realistic. I wasn't happy with that mouth bit so I just cleaned it up and started going over it again. So yeah, as the blood dried up, the fake blood dried up, I would just add more and more till it was as greasy and shiny and creepy to my heart's extent. My heart's content. Then for my eye makeup, I just take Anastasia Beverly Hill Morocco on an M505 by Morphe and start blending that in. Then I take this eyeshadow from Inglot in 360. It's a mid cool tone brown and start putting that in my crease as well. I have a tutorial on a cut, cut. I have a tutorial on a cut crease. I will just link that here. And then I take a darker brown eyeshadow and just start blending that in. Then I use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC42 to clean up the bottom of the cut crease. And I finish by lining my eye. Then I'm going to wear Scarlet from Shoda Beauty. I love these lashes, they're the perfect amount of drama. And I'm just going to do a double inner wing. I also have another tutorial where I wear a double inner wing, so I'll link that here. Then I highlight and contour one half of my face. I have a full tutorial on this up. You can find it on my channel and I will also link it. I wasn't happy with my eyeliner, so I went back in and made it a little bit longer, a little more dramatic. And I took some very little black eyeshadow and put that in my crease as well. I contoured with LA Girl Pro Conceal in Espresso and I used a little bit of my MAC Soft and Gentle to highlight. Okay, it's not a little bit, it's a lot. I used a lot. And I used the same Seraphine lipstick on my lips. And because the blood had dried up, I just went ahead and added a little bit more. I feel like the fake blood really pulled the look together for me. So if you are recreating this, please do tag me on Instagram and I would love to see it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends.